is it pointing at your thing or what? Carla, you're on video right now. Hi guys, Angie Bell's my fairy treasures. Let me turn my video around. No, it's not pointing at you, Kyle. It's pointing at my piece. <laughs> Hi guys. Sorry, I was talking to my husband. I think he thought I was filming him. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm trying to work on my film quality because my videos have been kind of hazy. And so I messed around with my iPad to see if we could get that haziness out. And this is a little bit better, but I still feel like it, there's haze in the, my video. I'll keep working on it, you guys. One second, I'm going to try turning off this, um, this light over here. Oh, that doesn't give us enough light. Hmm. Okay, let me just really quickly uh, turn on my iPad to look at um, look at questions and see who's on. So just a second. And if you're watching the replay, just fast forward to this part because I'm, you know, getting my iPad set up here. I would have done it in advance, but. I was running a little bit behind and I just wanted to at least get on and pop on so people knew that I was actually coming on. Uh, here we go. All right. All right. I have popped myself up and let me turn my sound down. All right, we'll just wait a few minutes and wait for some people to come on. And um, like I said, if you're watching the replay, just um, just fast forward through this part while we're waiting for people to come on. Also, I'm gonna play with my camera for a second and get. No, is that work? Nope, I don't want that. I'm trying to um, get as close as I can to this over here, this um, over this section over here, because I did some. There we go. Let me try coming a little bit closer. Just a second. I'm looking at my camera. There we go. And the reason I'm showing you guys this here is because this is um, this is what we're going for. This I I sand it with the sander. Um, I sand it. Oh, and I should say this: how we got to this point, all the distressing that you see. Um, we painted it with uh, chalk paint. We've done a bunch of distressing techniques. Look at the videos prior to this, and you'll see how we got to this point. But today we're working on um sanding a little bit to distress some of these roses and then waxing the piece so you guys can see what it looks like when it's waxed um and the reason I, i'm showing you guys this this panel here is because i put the uh brown if there's there's a wax with some brown in it so we'll call it like a what is it called brown wax i first put clear wax and then i put brown wax on top of the clear wax and the reason you do that is because the brown can get a little bit too dark but the brown, so the clear dilutes the brown a little bit, but the brown is good because it gives it a more aged look. So this is what we're going for right here. We want it to look that aged on the other panel. So I'm going to now go over to the other panel and you're gonna see it. This looks older and distressed and maybe it was painted maybe a long time ago. When we go over to the other panel, you're gonna be able to tell and it looks a lot newer. But we don't want it to look new. So, all right, so now bear with me. I'm gonna go over to this other panel. Bear with me. Okay, see how much more new that panel looks? Yeah, it looks a lot newer. So what we need to do is we need to get our sand block out and we need to sand. Do you need to get by? Which way do you need to go? Okay, let's walk right in front of it, it's fine. 
Okay. <laughs> Let me know when you need to walk back. All right. Um, Kyle, shut the door. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's a regular house going on here. <laughs> so my husband's going to walk back past, I'm assuming so. So, no major. Am I? Okay, good. I'm still on. I almost said it looked like it was, um, my screen started circling. All right, so I'm going to take this, um, I'm going to take this sander, the sand block. These things are awesome. Get them at Home Depot, Walmart, but definitely get a sander when you want to do work like this. Um, I'm going to sand these flowers, and we're just going to sand the flowers so they look a little bit aged, okay? Um, not so that, the, you know, we sand all the way through. We don't need to do that, but I want to sand this to rough this up a little bit and make it not look so perfect. Also, I want, so I'm going to do it to the whole, the whole thing. Okay, here we go. Oh, and yesterday, um, I did, I looked on the camera and the little, um, the little green in the middle, I don't know what you call this. This part wasn't uh, deep enough. So I went in with a deeper green yesterday after I got camera. And then I, I, so I pounced in a little bit of green in the center and then I pounced a little white over that. But it wasn't, this wasn't sharp enough in the center, so. I'm just trying to take the perfection out of it. edge off of it so it just ages it up a little bit more okay and then I'm just gonna take my towel and take the disc off of it take that sand off of there okay and then I'm going to use, um, okay, you can make your own clear wax. And then if you want your, your wax to be um, colored, then you just take some of your um, milk paint or your chalk paint and you add it to the clear wax. And then that'll color your wax for you. But, um, and I am going to have a video where I make my own waxes. I just haven't done it yet. And partly because, um, because I found some wax at a good price at Hobby Lobby. So... This is um, right next to where they sell the chalk paint at Hobby Lobby, and this is what it is. The red sticker is because I only paid $2.99, it was regular $11.99, and so what you see says cream wax here, and it's clear. I was able to get clear, I was able to get uh, black, no, I was able to get clear, brown, and white. And white's really cool when you want it to look all mystical and magical, so... But today, we want to age this out more. So I'm going to add clear first. Let's shake this up. Okay. Plus, I want some in the lid because I like to work out of the lid. And then here's the brown. Same thing. I got it for $2.99. It's regular $11.99. So I got a good deal on this at Hobby Lobby. Okay, but I will do a video on how to make um, how to make wax, how to make the wax for this. It's a matter of using um, what do you use? Uh, beeswax, which you can get at Hobby Lobby. It's like ten dollars for a big bag of little wax pe of uh, wax pe pe uh, pebbles, like, and um, use a coupon and get buy it for six bucks. So it's just um, beeswax, and, um, and you find it in the candle section. Uh, beeswax and baby oil. And you just melt those together over the stove and then um, then keep it clear. And then when you want to add brown to it or you want to add white, you just use your whatever your color of your um, 
milk paint or your chalk paint is. So. Okay. I'm taking chances today. I don't even have any paper underneath my waxes here. I should. Just a second. Let me get a piece. Of, let me get a little newspaper. I'll be right back. Just a second. Where do I have that at? my floor all exposed to these waxes so Okay, I just saw another person pop on, and I just want to let you know really quickly what we've done. Um, the flowers here, we want them to look more aged, not just freshly painted like we did yesterday. So um, what I did is I took my sand block, and I sanded this whole panel just to, like, knock off the newness. And also, it'll lighten up little areas and things like that. I even did it to the rosebuds here, to the whole piece, to this whole panel, okay? And now we're going to wax. And waxing is what you do. Um, waxing is what you do when um, to seal the piece. You can seal it with like a clear acrylic sealer, but when you use milk paint or chalk paint and you want that chalky look, it's best to use wax. Okay. All right. In my kitchen, I did use an acrylic sealer because, and I did like a satin finish so it could be very wipeable because it's a kitchen. So. All right. So I'm gonna get out my little chip brush here and then I have a waxing brush I'm going to use that for the dart what's weird is I had two of these um these type of brushes here I paid well they're 10 like 12 dollars I used a coupon so I paid like six or seven dollars for these and this one's fine but the other one oh my god all the bristles are falling out I'm so mad anyway this cheaper chip brush works just as good in my opinion so Anyway, all right, so we're going to make sure we're going to age this piece, age it a little bit more even. So what we're going to do is we're going to first put clear over it. <clears throat> and the reason we're going to put clear over it first is that um, it'll dilute the brown so the brown doesn't get too crazy. So this will dilute that brown down. And then once this wax dries, then you just take like a, a rag and you just buff it. And then I've heard when you, um, cause I haven't used this wax yet. I've only used the clear acrylic cause it was in my kitchen. But they say that once you wax it, once it dries and then you uh, buff over it, other cool colors start coming out. So I'm excited about that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this, um, let me get a, here. Now I'm going to take um, the brown wax. Okay. I'm going to put that on. And I'm, it's going to look too dark, especially on the flowers and the rosebuds. I'm going to um, wipe off the brown wax off the rosebuds and off of the roses. And then I'm going to apply clear back on the uh, ro the roses and the rosebuds. Because I already aged my rosebuds when I added the brown yesterday and my roses. But I want this whole background more aged looking. So right away I'm going to go ahead and take this paper towel and wipe that brown off of the roses. Okay. back by the way okay and then I'm going to um, just wipe it off the rosebuds too so 
so that the rosebuds aren't too dark. Okay. And then I'm gonna take clear. Huh, that, sent, that took that right back to like this brown color right here, but I'm fine with that, cool. See how like that chipped off, right? That color did right there on that rose, but that just adds to this whole distress. So I'm good with that. Sometimes you have happy little, happy little accidents happen. And isn't that what Bob Ross used to say? Happy little accidents. So I'm just putting this clear over these rose buds and now I'm putting the clear back on the roses too. So they're nice and protected. There we go. That is so cool how that happened right there, how that rubbed off with the wax. I wasn't even trying to do that. Very cool. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is, you know what, I should have... Um, I should have sanded up here at the top because I don't want any sand to land in this, but we're fine. We'll take chances. Let's go ahead and um, sand um, this here at the top also. We'll do that panel next. Just a quick sanding, just to, you know, knock off any of the newness. Nothing major. I already um, have a lot of, I have it already looking like the wood's exposed, like um, like right here, all these brown spots, doesn't it look like the wood's exposed? That's where I put that really dark, dark umber brown and then sprayed it with water and let it drip. It creates that. So that you don't, that's called like wet sanding. So you don't even have to use a sander to get down to the wood. I made my own faux wood look like it, like it, like the paint broke down and some of the wood is showing through. But that's just that dark brown umber that I used yesterday or the other day with spraying with water technique. Okay, so let's do clear. And we're going to go ahead and, and clear coat this whole thing here. And I'll go back down to the here and clear coat this whole thing here. And then we'll use the brown. So then I'm just doing this so this whole section will be done. And I like to just work like a whole panel or whole section at a time. Makes it a lot easier. Now I'm going to take that brown and we're going to go over everything, the brown wax. Now if you want to really deepen things, then don't uh, put the clear wax. I mean, if you don't want it, if you want to deeper, if you want to deepen it even more, then go, don't worry about the, um, the clear. First, just put the brown right on. But I want to deepen it, but I don't want to deepen it too much. So. Remember, we already did this panel right here. Oh, I'm not. Let me come back a little further. So you can see what the heck I'm doing. 
when I got to the bottom. I'm not touching this panel because we've already done that panel. So I'm just um, brushing this brown wax. on the whole frame around it because we already did remember that inside here. So this looks awesome. I am loving that. Let me back up a little bit. A little scoot down and work more areas. Okay. I'm just looking to see if I could move my camera a little bit more. Let's see. Let me see if that's better even, or if it's just the same. No, that's better. Okay. So, um, we're going to sand this and sand this middle part just to, um, especially because of the Cafe Paris. Um, this looks a little too new for me. I want that to look a little more distressed. This could look more distressed. Um, some of the black in here that we used as the stencil, the script stencil, that could be also just you know, taken back a little bit. So, let me move my waxes over to the side. Okay. Listen to me, the newness. What the heck does newness mean? <laughs> okay. I'm looking to see if I feel like I need to throw another light in here. I think I will. Let me uh let me take the um the dust off of here real quick. And then um let me go grab another light. I just kind of feel like we need to have more light in here. Okay, so let me uh, grab another light. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm coming across. Sorry. There we go. I'm trying to avoid that haze look in my videos, so I don't know if this light was creating a haze or not, so. All right, let's look and see. Let's see what this is gonna do. Oh, this is the wrong light, actually. Okay. All right, that's better. It'll do for today. It's less hazy than it's been. Okay, so um, we're gonna do this middle part into here. So let's put the clear on. I'm going to do the whole area. And off camera yesterday, I um, went ahead and, um, you know, I think I'm going, to do, I'm going to do this top up here too. Yesterday, I went ahead and finished up the flowers because we only had done flowers on this side. I went ahead and finished them up over here off camera. And I discovered off camera about the roses is that I could sit on this little stool that I'm on. It's one of those stools with like wheels like they use in um, when they uh, 
work on cars. Anyway, if I just move it around, I could just sit on this little stool and paint the flowers just fine. I said you to move to this side or move to the other side. So I was contorting my body really for no reason yesterday. But I just started painting on furniture. You guys know I like to do um, mixed media in my art journal or on canvases or whatever. So I'm used to sitting at a table. I'm not used to like painting my flowers on something like this. So anyway, I discovered an easier way. So that's good. I figured it out for the next piece of furniture that I do. And I need to sit down real low like this and paint. Goodness, I figured out a better way. Okay, so we have clear on this whole part right here, this whole middle panel. Okay, we got the clear. Now we're going to do the brown. Here we go. Oh, I love putting the brown wax on. It really ages the piece. It's that finishing touch. I hear a lot of people who do this type of work on that have videos on this. They're like, I love when I um, when I put the wax on. It's their favorite part, and now I see why. Especially if you're doing like a colored wax, because it. Um, Especially if it's a colored wax. Wait a second, I got it a little dark. Because then you start seeing more aging. It's like when, you, like in mixed media, when you use the Tim Holtz um, vintage photo to distress something. It's that same thing. That's what this brown reminds me of. It's like Tim Holtz distress, distress inks. And if you feel like you've gotten too heavy at all, um, just take a cloth and just wipe it down a little bit if you feel like you get too heavy. I'm just kind of going back over areas and then wiping my brush if I feel like I got too heavy at all. There we go. But I love it. Oh, this looks so cool. Love it. Oh, let me take the, I'm gonna take the brown up to here. Awesome. Okay, so let me scoot myself down. We're going to do this last panel over here. I already uh, put clear. Let me move my legs out of the way. Oh, I hit that. I already put um, the clear over here and the brown. So I just need to um, hit this last panel here on the top here. Right? Yes. Oh, and the bottom too. I didn't do the bottom over here. So let's go to the last panel. <laughs> Um, do I want to do some sanding? Yes, just a second, guys. Let me grab my my sander. Oh, um, let's just do another sanding. And you know what? We need to bring the camera over a little bit more. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, my shirt's coming down. Excuse me. God, why is my shirt so low? I'm not trying to make that kind of film. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're working on this panel right here. Okay, and that's it right there. That's all I wanted to do. Okay. 
So just sanded that just a little bit to give, just to cut back and distress this just a little bit more and also distress a little bit of the script. All right, so now let's use the clear wax. I'm holding my shirt now. For some reason, my shirt wants to come forward. What the heck? Okay. All right, so let's take the clear wax. Just get all this over. Okay. Let's do this panel here. Oh, there's a lot of wax on there. Now, um, I already did this part here, I was telling you, I already put the clear and then the brown wax on there, um, but I didn't do the framing around and the bottom, so we're going to do that right now. Put the camera down a little bit. So there's the clear. And let's go to the brown. I really love this brown. It really adds it really adds that aging that you want. We're avoiding this because we already did this panel here. Oh, well, I did it off camera. And the reason I did it off camera was because um, I wanted to play around with this wax and see how it works and what it does and so way it's already done okay so next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go over to the other side and do some waxing on one of the sides and then we'll be done with this video and we'll be done with this piece and I'll kind of give you a wide angle of how it all turned out so let me situate my camera and my stuff okay
Now we're going to bring the camera over here to the side. Just a second. So we'll see if that's going to work good. Okay. Let's see if we can come out a little bit closer. Good. Let me see if I can just come a little bit more. Just a second, guys. I'm looking at my iPad to see if we're getting a little bit better angle. I think good enough. I think you guys can see good enough. Okay. I do my best to get the best angles I can get. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um... Let's sand with our sander. Um, there's some, um, the script on here, it could be a little less, um, like just some areas, you know, I would like to see a little bit more distress. Um, I love the dark brown area, so there's really dark brown drips. I really won't sand over those too much. I like the way those look. And I'm only sanding in areas where some of the script that we did with the black paint, the script, I should say, I should explain myself, the script stencil um, got a little black, got a little dark. I like to see it um, just a little more distressed. Just take the, just take the newness off of it a little bit. If newness is a word. Okay. All right, I'm good with that. Let's take off a little bit of the dust. Yeah. Where do you need to go by to? I'm going out. Oh, well, just go behind me. You're fine. Okay. You won't be on the camera. Maybe your legs were, but that's it. Okay. See, it's just, it's facing my thing. Are you out? Yep. All right, love you. Yeah. Love you. Love you. Are you going to lock the door? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so again, we're going to take the clear. You know what, let's just bring my newspaper up to here. Just so we're protecting the floor. Okay, let's start, oh. See, I just splashed some clear, some wax on the floor. Just a second. All right. What I love is you don't have to be perfect about it because you want this to look distressed anyway, right? And I have to say, waxing your piece is really relaxing because there's no decisions to make. I'm going to do the clear up here too. And then get in between the little... Get in between the little molding bits. Okay. Yeah. 
And then um, my next project will be, um, I'm going to be working in my altered journal. So I'll be doing some mixed media in my altered journal. Um, I need to, um, and I might not work in the journal. I may just do that on a, like on a, um, its own separate, um, its own separate page. Um, because I need to make prints of it. Um, I do roller derby, like the old school roller derby, um, on the, uh, bank track from like the seventies and eighties. And, um, we don't do it as much as we did before because, sorry to say, the guy who owned it has passed away, but other people are trying to take over. So anyway, they have like a reunion once a year. So I'm going to, um, they need, uh, they need prizes for, um, Make sure that's done. They need prizes for the raffle, and she asked me to do some art. So I'm going to do um, some mixed media. I'm going to do like a skate, a roller skate, an old-fashioned roller skate. And it's going to be kind of a graffiti background. The skate's going to have graffiti all over it. So anyway. So I probably won't be back. Um, and that, well, I'll probably do some of that live. I don't know if I'm going to do that live or just do it on video. We'll see. I'll probably do it live. And the next piece I'm going to work on um, in my house is the, um, I have an armoire in my, I have an armoire in my, um, family room. And so that's the next piece I want to do a distress finish on. So super excited about that. Okay. So now we got the clear on. They're going to put the, use through the brown. The brown wax on now. That was the clear. Here we go with the brown. Oops. Almost dipped into the clear again. Sometimes the wax can get a little heavy, and if it does, just wipe it off. Like right here, this is just way too much. So I just keep like a little towel around me just to back that up a little bit. And wipe off my brush a little more. There we go. That, would, that got a little deep. <laughs> that got deep. Um, at the bottom too. And I believe, I haven't used this wax before, but I believe once it dries, it lightens up a little bit more too, so. That looks good. There we go. So we've waxed the whole front and this side. So my, now all I have left to do is to wax the top and then the other side. So, let me, um, and that's how the waxing works. So if you're wondering how to wax your piece and finish it up, that's how that works. Let me go ahead and let's end the video with moving to the front of the piece. Just a second. Excuse the wheels, you guys. I know that sounds horrible. But just a second. 
it just makes it so much easier for me to um, go around my piece without having to get up and down. And I told you guys yesterday, I have some horrible knees from years of aerobics and dancing. Basically, I was a dancer when I was younger, and oh lord, my knees have taken a beating. A beating. Okay, and let's come in a little closer. Let me see the thing, how that looks. Awesome. In fact, you know what? Let's see if we can go, go over that way. Is that going to cut it off more? Or... Just a second, you guys. I'm looking at my, okay. I'm looking at my iPad. And it's just a second or two behind. Oh, I wanted to show the whole piece. Come on. I'm trying to get in... Get my thing in the, get my camera right. Okay. That's good. There we go. This should be it right here. There we go. That took some doing. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the whole piece. I think it turned out really, really cool. I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoyed this little series of seeing me distress this. I'm just coming in a little bit closer so you guys can see that. Let's come in a little closer. Oh. There we go. And then I'll let me just go down with my camera a little bit. And that's what it looks like at the bottom. So I hope you guys like you guys like, like I said, I hope you guys like how it turned out. I hope you like this whole little series that I did. Um, the next thing I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to take a bunch of pictures of this and I'll put it on my Instagram. So if you want to see different pictures, um, from different angles, um, I'll have them on my Instagram. Um, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do a mixed media piece. I told you I'm going to do on that graffiti background and the graffiti, and then I'm doing like old fashioned roller skates, which I think is going to turn out really cool. I need to do that for a raffle of a thing I'm going to be going to for skating. And then after that, and that'll be on, I think we'll do that. Um, I'll do a live video of that. And after that, we're going to start an armoire. So it's in my living room, which I'm really super excited about distressing that. So that is it for today, you guys. I will talk to you guys in the next one.